Rare International Corporation Agency will support the Directorate of Industrial Training and other technical vocational education training subsectors to develop modular case courses. Uh, that's in Uganda. A delegation of South Korean consultant, consultants uh, is in Uganda to train institution staff, industrialists and DIT staff and develop assessment training packages. Korea International Cooperation Agency will collaborate with the Ministry of Education and Sports to support the Directorate of Industrial Training in implementing the short-term training programs in mechanics, plumbing, electronics, fashion and designing. Koika will also construct, equip and train technical staff of Iganga, Kiriandongo, Mubende, Nyakatari, Ntinda and Arua where the programs will commence. The five-year program of capacity building for industrial demand, Best Tivet, will cost seven million U.S. dollars. Uh, South Korea, first of all, we worked with them to develop this project. But also, South Korea is one of the developing countries which has moved from a donor recipient to now a donor giver. The acting director, Directorate of Industrial Training, Patrick Biakatonda, says the focus of the program is competence, quality relevance, and skills development. Korea Chambers of Commerce and Industry is implementing the project. The project manager, KCCI, Dr. Choi Song Shik, promised more financial support towards vocational training. Uh, first of all, we will make some uh, curriculum development. So we visited some industry. And then we uh, uh, demand research and job analysis. And then based on that uh, process, uh, we will uh, uh, develop the curriculum. The power of the human resources, the, the beneath was the uh, vocational training. So with the vocational training, Korea could cultivate uh, quality human resources. And those quality human resources are the leaders of leading the uh, Korean economies at this point. Korea International Cooperation Agency constructed, equipped in Tinder Vocational Training Institute at a cost of 5.2 million US dollars. Henry Muganga compiled this report.